Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Chittagong, Captain George Butler warned his England side they have areas to improve ahead of their one-day World Cup defence after failing to seal a series clean sweep in Bangladesh. England lost the third and final one-day international against Bangladesh in Chittagong on Monday by 50 runs, although the tourists had already secured the series. With an eye on the World Cup later this year in India, where conditions will be similar to Bangladesh, Butler changed his England side for the final match. Sam Curran was promoted to number 5 in the batting order, scoring 23 of 49 balls, and the 18-year-old leg spinner Rehan Ahmad made his OD debut. The game was England's last scheduled 50-over match until September 8. I think we played some really good cricket throughout the series and I've spoken a lot about these being great conditions for us to challenge ourselves in, Butler said. These are probably the conditions that we would find the hardest as a team. Now there's plenty to learn, things that we've done well and areas that we can also improve, the captain added. England was set 247 to win in Chittagong but folded for 196 and Butler said that, we needed someone to go on and really take ownership of that chase. But he had no regrets about experimenting with his lineup. We changed a few things today and gave opportunity to people in different ways, but I thought the intensity was there, he said. England have some difficult decisions on the makeup of their World Cup squad. Senior players Joe Root and Johnny Besto are both likely to return, while test skipper Ben Stokes has hinted that he could come out of OD retirement for England's title defence. Butler can see a possible repeat of England's build-up to last year's 2020 World Cup in Australia, where they emerged as champions. I think the schedule is hugely challenging to always get your best 11 on the field, Butler said. Looking back to the T20 World Cup, we probably went into that World Cup having never played our perceived best 11. But then to get into the tournament and go on to win it, that gives you great confidence even though we haven't had the opportunities to play our best team. I think that's the way we're building. And we know that, come the World Cup, we will have the opportunity to pick from everyone who's available. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more sports updates.